हेलो स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज फ्रॉम गेट 2018 क्वेश्चन नंबर 38 फ्रॉम सेट नंबर 4 दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अबाउट द सिंगल प्लेट क्लॉथ्स फ्रॉम फार्मेसी एंड पावर सेक्शन टू क्वेश्चंस टू मार्क्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू टू फाइंड आउट कैलकुलेट द आंसर ओके सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज ए सिंगल प्लेट ड्राई क्लॉथ्स transmits 15 kilowatt power at 1200 rpm the cloth sustains a maximum axial load of 2.65 kN the ratio of outer to inner diameter of the frictional surface is 1.25 to 1 considering uniform wear with a coefficient of friction of 0.3 on both the frictional surfaces the outer diameter of the cloth plate is less millimeter so here actually the cloth outer diameter has to be calculated Uh, since inner diameter uh, and outer diameter ratio is given so if you find out the one you can find out the other this is not a problem this is a straight forward cloth problem let us try to understand and solve this problem from the basics let us try to find out actually how the cloth was cloth was very simple it is thin it is Single plate cloths, both sides are active. Now you can see here. So this one is the cloth. Here you can see this one is the cloth. So this is one x one side, this is another side. Uh, sorry, this is the single disc. Now if you see, this is the surface which is active. So that means inside this here actually a lot of things are there like this. You see here, this is hollow one. Because the levers and everything has to work, and the axis should be there, the axle should be there. Okay, that's why this is not the perfect one. So that's why it is a inner radius and outer radius. So it's a disc type. So therefore, when this generally the cloth is always in engaged position, since there are number of springs are there, which give some axial force. by which the friction surfaces are always in contact how this way the cloth works actually the power is transmitted through the surface through the friction this way is called the friction cloth dry because there is no oil incorporated in this cloth this way is called the dry single plate cloth where actually the two sides are active now it's a very simple thing actually So there should be some. If you see this one in the surface, where it will be the force. We know the power transmitted is to be uh, given. Actually, the power transmitted is equal to two pi n t by six t in kilowatt or watt, depending upon the torque. That is either kilo newton into meter or newton into meter. So if you say newton into meter, then it will be watt. It is kilo newton into meter is kilo watt. So the L is the RPM of the RPM, then 60 is because the RPM is revolution per minute. Therefore, from there you can find out the torque required to be transmitted. So because the engine speed is known, so it is 1200, and the power transmitted has to be 15 kilo watt or 15000 watt because torque has to be in newton meter. That's why it is kept in what 2 pi n is given and t the torque torque is to be found out so torque is equal to 15000 into 60 divided by 2 pi into 12 volt the torque is find out once you find out the torque this torque is to be used in the equation find out the cloth dimensions it is very simple the torque the power transmitted is given you can find out the torque from the formula it is very basic formula everyone should know then For uniform wear, the torque transmitted by the disc surface is equal to uh, is, if it is a multi-plate cloth or what, uh, whatever, single plate or whatever, n is the number of surfaces, contact surface. If you see, this is the number of contact surface. U is the coefficient of uh, friction between the plates. F is the axial force. And R is the inner diameter. 
are given in the outer diameter. If you see here, Ri and Rb. Ro, you can see. This is the outer diameter, and this is the inner diameter. So in between, this is the surface where actually the mixture will take place. Since it's a uniform wear condition, uniform wear condition actually, if you see this point, the pressure should be uh, less area and pressure. So the pressure should be high and the actual pressure should be low. So the pressure into radius, pressure into radius should be constant. Therefore, this uniform wear will be there. So the uniform wear means the friction cloth will be wear worn out uniformly throughout the surface. That's so why it's called the uniform wear case. So this is the formula. P e will be equal to N by U F half R I plus R O. Straightforward putting the value R O by R I or outer radius to the radius ratio is given 1.25 is 1. From there you can find out R O will be equal to 1.25 R I. Since we need to find out R O R I, so this is the unknown in this <coughs> problem. Therefore, the force is given, axial force by which the friction plates are held together is a normal force you can say, or axial force is given 2.65 kN which is equal to 2.6650 Newton because since we have calculated torque in Newton into meter, that's why uh, it should be Newton. N is 2 for single plate curve, it's very simple. So here you can see two pairs, this one is one and here another pair. The two pairs, that's why the axial force will be two. Uh, multiplace, whatever will be calculated here, we say single plate cloth, that's why uh, two is the L. Therefore, P is given, P have to be transmitted, that is 119.36 Newton into meter, should be equal to two is the number of uh, surface, point P is mu, A for six. Uh, Axial force is 2650 Newton and half Ri plus RO. RO is equal to 1.25 Ri. We can take it from here. So now only one unknown that is Ri in this equation. So therefore, we can calculate Ri that is equal to 0 0.6672 meter or is equivalent to 66.72 millimeter. Since it is asked in millimeter, so we have to convert it into millimeter. Outer diameter will be equal to 2 into radius, outer radius, or 2 into RO. Here actually RO is equal to 1.25 RI, so RI is already calculated. Therefore, you put 2 into 1.25 RI, and RI is 66.72, multiplying with 2 into 1.25, then the answer will be 160. 66.82 millimeter is the <coughs> outer diameter of the plot. So this one has been asked in this question. Therefore, the answer for this problem is 166.82 millimeter. A single plate plot is the required outer diameter is the 166.82 millimeter is the answer.